JP made it. Whoa, we're back. What's up, man? It's the Wake and Bake. And I'm most blind James, like always. Oh, man. Without further ado, our guest this evening. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, y'all? Bro, I didn't even get your name out, man. You jumping the gun on me like like Ashley did to you. I didn't even tell people who you are yet, dog. Oopsie, go ahead. What? No, I'm quiet. <laughs> Comedian L. I already forgot the last part now. Hendrix. Hendrix. Yeah, you're Hendrix. good. Comedian L. Hendrix. What's going on? Uh, my I just baby? like to call you good. Hendrix because it's dope. They say that's my third cousin, you know. No way. Yeah, they say that's my third cousin. I, I don't know, but I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep <laughs> saying, that's my third yeah, cousin. That's stick how do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out. He's a legend. <laughs> people always ask me, man. People who like fucking get anybody from the past on my show, I always say Hendrix. Man. There you go. Love to. Oh, yeah. So where can people find you on your on your social media other than IG? On my social media other than IG, um, pretty much just go by Landon Hendrix most of the time. But just comedian L Hendrix is pretty much where I go to, you know. So and like I said, number one trending comedian today on Instagram. So you know that's a good thing. Beating Avian Avian Crockett right now. So ah, you know that's what happens at the organic. Put him down. Cup, you know. Uh, so put him down. Boom boom. Get him. Bow. Gun That's what it is. Yeah. Holster That's those bad boys. All right, yeah, you're not yeah, allowed yeah. to pack heat oh, here, dude. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's levels. It's levels to the shit. I don't know. I can, you know. <laughs> it's fucking levels, bro. Yeah, you know. Um, it's levels to everything, man. For There's real, kids and players real. all around this motherfucker. You can be found dude. at the Comedy Store in uh, L.A. <laughs> hey, we were there. Set next, uh, next Friday night. There you go. Woo, oh, yeah. get it. Say I'm doing sets all over. I actually do shows when all over. When did you do the comedy store? Say that was that was the that was the uh the the, the hip clip guy. Let me oh, tell you about the hip clip guy. Oh, he's yeah. trying to give me he trying to give me my my promotions back because I done sent I done got him about three three thousand four thousand dollars while he'd have been here off oh. these hip clips. He doing three for twenty, all right. Yep. And I just telling him I'm like, hey, my man's got like nineteen hundred pounds over there on the side of his hip. So if you know somebody that can carry side that much on the side of their hip, you let me know. But yeah, he said he done sold a lot of stuff. He gave me some shirts and stuff, so appreciate the hip clip guy. Yeah, but yeah, keep your ass over bang, there. Man. No. But this isn't your time, bud. Exactly. There it go. This ain't your time, bud. Tell him, tell him, tell him. He we can get his Hendrix. own interview, damn it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We already did yeah, his, did. damn it. This is great. I've been man. asking for Hendrix for a long time, man, and you the know. world delivered one, huh? It's kind of yeah. like, um, what, what is it? Who they want? Flip. Flip. But it's, it's Hendrix, but <laughs> it's it don't Hendrix. fit in there yeah. during the rock. So we're not going to use it. It fits with the analogy, though. Yeah, they acknowledge That's good. That's a good. Is it a metaphor or an analogy? Um, That's an analogy. I'm too high to really. Yeah, we. That's I'm analogy. Blown, bro. Yeah, you just asked me some real deep shit. I feel Yo, like I tried to I... ask the hard hitting questions. Yeah, dude. God, <laughs> shit. When did you? Start he said, doing... "Do you like blue hundreds or green?" It made yeah, me confused. Man. I'm like, shit. <laughs> I like new money, but yeah. I don't. You got ah, money. Okay, Pick I get one. it. One. Pick one. See, <laughs> <laughs> say I get it, man. You asked. Yo, yeah, but when did you start doing comedy and getting into entertainment? Um, honestly, I started, um, I've been acting all my life, so I've just really been acting up until two years ago. So, started doing some tours around the country, getting into, a lot of people that theater have been acting on, or yeah, like, theater acting, okay, but okay. not really on your what typical, your like, favorite? to do like were you in um, musicals or like no plays? yeah that was a, that's <laughs> what I, was I was more of the comedy guy so oh, i've always yeah, been in the comedy you know if somebody wrote it kind of like tyler perry type something? stuff you know so tyler anything perry type stuff? Like yeah what? tyler perry's type stuff like i don't um, know about that shit. we had no, uh let me know. no see tyler perry he created a lot of you know hood stuff oh, hood classics i know classics, man, i, know. Hood, I watched you know? all the videos <laughs> yeah, yeah, up yeah, until yeah, yeah. goes to prison yeah so stuff like that after that one i fell off bro see now what i did was i hooked up with a guy that's kind of like him and he want to be like him but he's not him you know so that's clutch bam there you go. Bad. There you go. There you go. So, Fuck yeah. yeah, that's my man. So, as far as, like I said, Tyler Perry, once he came out with that, that let me know I could do comedy on stage mm. and just not be in the typical, like, tights and, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I got my such and such. Because that's not my deal. I don't care what you do, but that's not my deal. You know, I, yeah, I used to yeah, be yeah. big. Yep. So, 300 pounds, I wasn't trying to be a nothing tight fit. squeeze in those. Yeah, I want the loose stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, he wasn't trying to show the, you yeah, know, the apple bag on the side. There, or man, bro, I had stuff that I couldn't even name anymore. I'm like, <laughs> damn, I didn't. Sat on the toilet. I sat on my on my. Bro, my brother is <laughs> thick like you were, bro, and I understand, See? dude, because he got like weird titties that slope off to the side and shit, dog. 
It's funky. See, I'm glad that them. That's what Man. the cocaine Boy. took off. See, that's yeah, you got to watch yourself. My brother did cocaine. <laughs> my brother went to prison for cocaine really? and crack and shit. And yeah, he's still fat. It was the crack that did him in. He that's got, the bullshit, ain't it? He just stayed fat, bro. He <laughs> never lost any weight. I'm just saying, can we bring up some stuff, blind? Come on. Now, it's in this bullshit that he went to jail for both of them. He could have got out in two days because of the cocaine, but well, he was in right, there for three yeah, years because of the right. crack. Man, that's so funny. You know that. He, <laughs> it. he broke into a guy, or somebody broke into this guy's house and beat the shit out of him, and then my brother went to prison for it, man. People just crazy, man. I know, right, man? <laughs> Fucking drug games, man. See? I stay away. That's why I don't do the cocaines anymore, bro. Can't fuck with the drug games. No, because <laughs> the game's too strong. <laughs> And it's too expensive, bro. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, yeah yo, right. blind guys can't afford cocaine. Well, yeah, I was just saying, you're smoking you can, solvent. You can get a five dollar bag of crack, though. I believe, at any corner store. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I sure like anyway, how anyway. it works because I don't do it. <laughs> man, I don't like crack, man. I'm like Whitney Houston. Why would I do crack? Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, but right, yeah, Whitney didn't either. <laughs> yeah, we know. Hey, yo, what's yeah. up, dog? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, what's up? That's what a good analogy. What, so, how old were you when you got away from the? You know, theater and when I got away, it was probably just two years ago, bro. I'm 30 now, and yeah, it's like yeah. I got on stage. My friend dragged me up. He was like, "Come try it, bro. You know, see how it goes for you." My man R.J. Leary, so I always get my shout outs. Um, he told me like, "Bro, you funny as hell. You got to do it. Stop being scared." So yeah, yeah. I got up one day. I didn't plan on going up, and uh, you know, he told me like I was there watching him do something. So yeah, he got off yeah. stage. He was like, "Hey, bro." They said that they want you to do a quick five minutes. I'm like, I don't got shit. He like, no, nah, go up there go right up now. There, so, go up, like yeah. the same thing you just threw, like I yep. said, you threw your man's into. So I'm like, yep. okay, gotta get it together. Shout so. out to Gashley for yeah, doing you know, it. Good, good and went in. Man. Yeah, that is definitely a good shout out. Like Gashley went in. That was yeah, Gashley's ghost music. Yeah, 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 to yeah his new Single toxic nostalgia. Definitely check it out because you know people surprise you too. You All know, and a time. lot of people when you go out and like, let's say if I go to a show. If I go to a show and come out backstage, like, Ray J get a million CDs, you know, yeah. like, other people get a million CDs. I get two. It's all right. I don't care. At least somebody That's passed me their the CD, grind, and bro. I didn't have to pay for it. Yep. You feel me? So yep. when people stop coming up to me like, hey, cuz, you want to donate? Because people don't say bye no more. The sounds eh. yeah. So when people stop coming up like, you want to donate such and such, and they just started handing it to me like, hey, check it out, big bro. Let me know. Pass it along. Like, I knew I probably made it somewhere, you know. So yeah, yeah, um, sure, two man. years down the line, though, like I said, you know, I didn't tour with Ray J. Got a tour not too long ago with him. Um, weird guy. Not going <laughs> to lie. It's a weird dude. Did so. he try to sell you headphones? No. <laughs> I'll try to figure this out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! That's funny as hell. Because like, he got check the, out these new ones. No, he got the glasses, right? Yeah. So let me tell you what really. This is like I use this joke, but it really happened. Like this motherfucker is weird as shit. Okay, so first off, that's just whatever. It's cool. I don't, you know, whatever. You well, put, yeah, put well, me on. You, I don't, yeah, yeah, I'm we cool, right? Too, you know, man. whatever. I like, I'm weird. <laughs> but he done came out with these glasses, right? So we sitting there. And, you know, he was on the interview, and the glasses broke. I don't know if you've seen the interview. They made a bunch of memes. I didn't see shit, bro. Okay. See, I don't know if you heard this interview. No, see, I got to pop back in. You see how you do me and shit on here? All the time, you trying man. To be... Welcome to the Wake and Bake. We <laughs> roasted, dude. We get toasted. Somebody told me he was going to whoop my ass earlier, and then said, how would it feel to get your ass whooped by a blind man? How do you respond to that when <laughs> he didn't say it directly? I'm like, <laughs> I'm okay. like, like shit. What the hell? He tells uh, us he's going to hit us with his stick yeah, all the I'm time. Yeah, I'm like, what's I going to do? Hit him back with the face? Like yeah, I'm like, they just wouldn't let me back home. I don't know why, Yo, but they yeah, wouldn't let me, me come back home. Just put me in something, and then when it stops moving, be like, yeah, you won. <laughs> <laughs> For real. But back to the, the Ray J, like, he had the glasses. So what happened is in the commercial, he told a guy, the dude said, yeah, so these indestructible? He said, they won't break, man. They won't break. <laughs> the dude said, For real? He said, man, I'm telling you, they won't break, 100%. Okay. He grabbed the glasses. Yep. Glasses broke. Ah. And so when he looked, he said, Ray. Yeah. Ray J was like, I don't care. So my daughter saw that. Uh. Okay, so we going and we talking about touring and all this other stuff going on the next spot. So I'm like, all right, this is cool. You know, I'm thinking I'm in good graces, whatever, whatever. So then he come out the backstage. His manager was like, hey, bro, I'm just going to let you know Ray is mad as hell. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Apparently, they didn't got on the FaceTime with my daughter. And so my fa my daughter then apparently FaceTimed Ray J and told him like, ah, stupid, the glasses didn't work. <laughs> so that's like my thing right now. It's like, I don't know if I'm still in good graces, but hopefully it'll pick me back up. 
Man, for man, sure. Like, well, that's what, what you expect from yeah. a comedian's daughter. Yeah. Bro. Hey, look. But if not, then hopefully it's Afion it Crackett all the time. You, the number two trending, trending comedian right now. So hopefully Afion, since he got more money than me, will hopefully want to pick us uh, both up. We both could go on tour. We got. Yeah, I'll be yeah, so sure, down yeah. to hit a tour, man. I'm headed to tour with the podcast yeah, in, uh, yeah. in September, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. Where y'all planning on hitting? We're going to uh, Buffalo, Boston, Baltimore, oh, yeah. DC, Ooh, Charlotte. Shit. Uh, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Nashville, back to Cleveland. Okay, cool. I can go to three of those. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can go to three I of those without prior warning. Yeah, yeah, and shit. Yo, uh, Ashley, man, shoot him the uh, the flyer, man. Definitely, Tag definitely. Him on I can go to three of those without prior warning. Other ones, I got to put a flyer out and see yeah. see what the feedback is. You know yeah, okay. what I'm saying? That's how you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because yeah. if I put the flyer out, because I got a message up. right now. I was supposed to go somewhere, and somebody was like, fuck you. And that was three minutes after I posted on Instagram. I tagged oh. the place and whatever. Somebody just said, fuck you. I was like, well, won't we'll be going there. Had <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. to cancel Later. that venue. Bon voyage, Driving brother. through. Uh, <laughs> at Comedian L. Hendricks. <laughs> Yep, yep. Comedian, yeah, just type in comedian. I'm we'll, number one we'll right now. It. It's popping up. That's what happens at the organic cup. Just so y'all don't know. Uh, I didn't know. You know, about yeah. That's y'all. Uh, we make motherfuckers famous out here. here. See, bro. see, see. I fucking love it. I'm having a great time. God, How long was it since you started gaining some recognition from your comedy? See, you really started pushing. I'm trying. Yeah. Um, me and uh, you know, I didn't know Mike and them for a while. Okay, so okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, just met him two days ago. Okay, yeah, cool. See, Mike and them—they cool people. They'll definitely give you some knowledge. But they are incredible. You know, we yeah. had them on the show earlier, and they definitely. dropped some real knowledge. Definitely about spirituality and about weed. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mike will tell you some stuff. He had me put an onion in my sock one day. I'm like, an onion in a sock with a crystal. I was, Woke up tingly. I'm like, I don't know how I got so much energy when I was just so tired. I don't. That's real people. But that's real. They real people. But wow. Um, hooking up with them, I do videography. You know, so I started doing stuff with him, filming some of the, you know, cannabis, and then he like, man, you tell jokes like. So at the last show, pretty much, we didn't have nobody to host, so we just kind of thought people was gonna go up and fall in place. I'm like, that shit ain't gonna work. So I just kind of started telling jokes, and then after that. He like, nah, bro, we got to have you host any cup that we got. So, you know, that'll be, you know, the official host of the Gage Green Cups, you know, oh, right yeah. here. So, Sweet. you know, Dude. for the next whatever years I got whatever, my contract. Whatever next place. one comes oh, yeah. up for yeah. this, for Gage, dude, we got to work together. I'll bring some sure. bands out and shit for us. For sure. Oh, we got a roster Definitely. of killers, bro. Definitely. And so you see Jeff and them like to jam, too. So you definitely got to oh, input him. Man. Oh, yeah, they yes, see. Yes, yes. I don't rock out anymore. I used to play the trumpet. Oh, okay. dude, and we, can, and we can handle the sound, too. Bro. Huh? Oh, see? Oh, yeah. We got sound guys and stuff. Why? Yeah, yeah. y'all should have said that earlier. Somebody uh, probably could have got there. I didn't realize until you said something about see? it after Gashley's But thing. see, this is the thing. They can see the shit, okay? So you just hear that the shit is fucked up. Yep, they can yep. see the shit while it's happening. So it's y'all fault. Yeah, Shame on y'all. They're busy getting fucking <laughs> ripped over here, See? Man. See? They got a lot of other shit happening, like torches going. Yeah. Joints rolling. No, that was treacherous. Oh, yeah. What y'all just, what they, what y'all just did Ooh. to uh, Gasly? That was treacherous. I saw. Uh, that. That uh, was, yeah, yeah. Was, Shout out to Gasly for taking that, was that fat yeah. that flop, dude. Then somebody called him out his name. I said, "Damn, y'all go for real when you in the moment." That's, oh, hit yeah. it, bitch! I was like, "Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hit that. <laughs> fucking finish!" Yeah. No, we're like, you gonna get finish. killed if you don't finish. Oh, yeah, hit it. Really. It's like being in a band of brothers, dude. See, he's really standing over there. Each other on and go nuts, man. Definitely, definitely. I understand how it is. Oh, for sure. That's you get that, man. Especially like when you start kicking it with your real homies out on the road. You're like comedians and you link up. Oh, yeah. Start yeah, yeah, vibing yeah. on shit that you're all interested in. It's always different. But see, oh, me, yeah. I don't like other comedians. I'm intimidated, so I don't like other. Because the oh, thing man, is, when I'll other people have heavy. to practice, I don't normally have to do that. Like, I have a philosophy. It's like when you do something that you train to do, that's cool. Like, you might be able to do that just as good as the next person. But, like, if you woke up and you can just roll a blunt with your eyes closed you feel me then that's what you do like that's what not I do some people train themselves to do what you can do naturally I roll you see what i'm saying open it looks the same oh, yeah. see <laughs> we need to find something we need to find that person <laughs> You're killing me. But that's just real shit, bro. When you think about it, it's like somebody that really, like, if you could go hook a sound up and hear that instantly, somebody that trained and worked and went to school with that and whatever, you don't have to do that. Like, that's just how I feel. Now, I do study, I do train, but I'm not like, when I go to the hotel, I'm trying to chill. We can, 
I'm not trying to the night before the show. You know, I got to sit there and go over my lines. Right. And that's yeah. just weird. That's we yeah. don't need to do that. Yeah. I'm not like uh, even for acting. Like I learned my lines like within the first two weeks. Like that's another thing. It's like if you learn your shit, you know how to do it. It's not too hard, man. Yeah, get it. It's just get natural. That groove. Like I can read the script. I'm gonna tell you your line, my part. When you fuck up, I'm gonna look at you funny. So it's <laughs> and it's not to be egotistical. It's just saying like once you get in that mode, you know. Who you are in your place? Right. And like, you, exactly. How easy it, is it as a practice actor and comedian to to uh, pick out a phony or somebody that you know obviously doesn't do yeah, the art? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a guy that messaged me and I ain't gonna get too loud because it's one of my homeboys, but he definitely told me like, "Hey, bro, I'm about to start doing." I'm like, "No, nah, that's not. Like, stay in your lane. That's not. You, you're not gonna going to be funny. Like, yeah. You know, like it's." A hard whatever for me, you know, and I got yeah. depression, anxiety, yeah. this and that, like the next shit, this and that. Yeah, they tell me do this and whatever. Like, it's like, some uh. people hit me up or something and be like, yo, got this premise or whatever. And then and it's like, all right, I like where you're going, but you don't leave it up to me to critique you to punch it up because that means it's not, a, you're not, you haven't worked it out enough. Right, right. That's yeah. true. Yes. Yeah. It's common things, man. It's a different life, man. I yeah. just oh, a lot of people don't yeah. get it, but now I'm getting like, like I said, to the point where I'm just, I'm basking in it. Like, when you live or like you've been broke for a while, or if you've done shit, or like people have looked down on you for a certain amount of time, like you get tired of that shit. Oh so, yeah, dude. I'm like I got mad because a lady chunky, ain't opened dude. the door for me the other day. Like that's just uh, real shit. Like I walked in, I'm like, yeah, I was about to buy like fabric and all that shit. Like I'm walking the fuck out. Like, huh. and it was just because I just was in one of the moments. She was like, all right, who do you think you are? Like. Bitch, if Kanye walked in, and I'm not nobody to just go off and just be calling women, whatever, but like, bitch, if Kanye walked up, would you be trying to open the door for Kanye? Exactly. And I walk right the hell out, bro. And I was like, that's just real. That's how I was feeling at the time. You know who I am. Open the door. I don't care who it is. You need to run. You need to do whatever. See, man, I'm where, special now. Where I, like, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yo, these guys make fun of me for it, man. That, for like, Cooch, especially, he'll walk into a place, but I'm blind James, bitch. See? Hell no, I can blind James, bitch. That's what that's what yeah. you allowed to do. That ain't shit. <laughs> Sometimes I do it, man. I don't even care. Fucking blind myself James, bitch. When I'm fucking feeling it, hell yeah. yeah. Like I'll I used, right I used to be it. so generous too, though. That's what I'm saying. Like I used to let people cut in front of, yada yada. Like if I go to McDonald's, I never go to McDonald's. But if I go, I'm walking straight to the front of the line. I don't care what you got to say anymore about it. I'm tired of being nice. Like ah, it's so many damn. people when you think about it. In. Then when you think about life or you think about like, let's say people like that work or you have your day job, like you just spent 40 hours a week working under a motherfucker that's sitting on a yacht. Like every work, every week that you work, like you just paid his such and such, his mortgage and for his yacht. Like and he Hell chilling yeah. right now. Fuck yeah. Like and you in there trying to bust your ass like for the next person and you yep. do it. Like forget just that. I'm done by. with that life, bro. Just to get I swear. By. And when I stopped thinking like that and I got on a different level, like it it was what it was, you know. Yeah, so yeah. but and hey, like I, I said, it's not bad. to be egotistical. I'm fully humble. But I done had a good show today, so I'm like, shit, like, Fuck I'm in one of the moods huh. where I'm like, if don't nobody open the door for I me do when like I leave here, I'm going to whoop somebody ass. <laughs> I, I appreciate your riff yeah, comedy, you know? I'm not that kind of dude, man. I am the kind of comedian oh, yeah, yeah, where I, I like to have a set shit. I know what I'm going to go up and talk I about and at least premise it out. But I have my shit ready and locked in. Like, let's say we comes with, like, a heckler or something where I start stumbling through shit. Uh, well, then I got my premises that I'm just going to fucking riff on. Right, 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 right. And I hopefully this shit lands. If not... There's always the next fucking mm -hmm. run, bro. No, I mean, really, you just got to listen to people, bro. And that's the only thing, like, when people heckle you, it's just because they want to be heard. Like, you didn't yeah. say no off shit. You didn't right. say no whatever. Like, they planned to do that shit before they even did it. Yes. You know, like, before the they was in the car, they the like, girl, I'm going to say something. Dude. You know, like, they planned yes. that shit before. So there's nothing that you could have done or whatever. But when they do it. Like, honestly, I just be like, when I'm up there and people talk to me, I'm like, oh, for real? Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. Like, well, my name is such a, like, when the girl said, you ain't, um, I forgot, what, she wasn't heckling me, but she was like, oh, yeah, um, you told us this was starting at 530. Are you giving us our time back? Are you such and such? I looked at her, Damn. I said, I said, oh, you forgot who I was, ma'am. I'm sorry, look at me. Uh, I didn't plan none of this shit, so that just lets you know right there. I'm just a comedian, <laughs> and I was just messing around with the sound stuff because I'm pretty sure some shit about to blow up. So, you know, but it's like, it's like you just go off into your own whatever. Like, I accept it because I know you just wanted to say some shit. That's like, the answer to everything. You know, you know like, accept it and get the fuck out. I usually walk through the crowd, so if I could have, I'd have tried to, you know, whatever. But. <laughs> get a little work in. 
Yes, I, mean, I gotta pass different. you the microphone. But I had a lady talk about cats too long one day. Ooh, ooh, uh, to just be. That's, yeah. yeah, that gets weird. Yeah, yeah. She was talking about cats. That shit threw me all the way. Off. Yeah, no, you need the music that they like, call you off the stage yeah. during the Grammys. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah start so getting that shit like, in the background, like, bro. Yo, wrap that That's shit right. up. I handed her the thing. She was like, Yeah, I got a Burmese such and such two pythons and such. She went on a whole rant. Wrap that shit up, bro. Talking about her cats and showing me pictures. I was like, Look, bitch. Um, I said not to be rude. You know, I like your cats, but uh. Uh, you know, I like so. Yeah, it's it's certain times where you have your own certain moments. <laughs> right, right. That shit yeah. happens, bro. And it, I mean, <laughs> I can only imagine. Well, the, we, how many weirdos you run in just being in the entertainment industry? That they always either want to show you something or um, they know this guy who did this. No, nah, show guy. you something goes a lot of ways. You got to be specific. Cause oh, you got to watch out. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. That happens too, man. I'm yeah, I had it. Let me tell you weird. Like, uh, well, <laughs> no, I ain't going to go there because I still ain't that famous yet. Like, I got to get real. I got to get famous famous. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh. I've had weird shit happen and I'm only like locally fucking barely famous Not in here. Cleveland. Not and here. I get all kinds of weird shit. I have more girls trying to throw my hands on their titties and butts than <laughs> you could ever imagine. Sir. They be like, oh, you said you blind? Tell me what that look like. No, like, bitch, be like the, here's their thing. They'll, come yeah. up, they'll be like, are you really blind? <laughs> you have like a really cool like vibe. And I'm like, yeah, I'm really blind. They're like, can you like see my face if I touch you? I'm like, not really. And they're like, well, will you touch my boobs or my butt? And I'm like, yeah, I can. Sure, can't. yeah. I mean, hey, I'm yeah, engaged, bro. You, triple D. It's a pimple on your left side, and you might have cancer. You might want to check. Yeah. Oh, oh, you got to hear that right. jacked out. I feel no, two lumps. I, oh, no, I, Cheeto. If That's I did, man, Cheeto. I would, <laughs> don't know if I'd have the heart to dog somebody like that, See, bro. No, nah, I could. You're if savage. you asked for it. That's, you're savage. Oh, you man. asked for it. Man, you're I'm savage. Too nice, That's man. funny. Yeah, I'm too you're nice, savage, bro. bro. Hey, I would have been like, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that's great. I'm sure your boyfriend's real happy. No, no. If you ask for it, that means you definitely. Like I said, some people just want to say something. They don't, you know, she planned on doing that. Hell no. Whenever she meet a blind dude, he going to feel. Whenever I meet a blind dude, he going to feel my ass. I got to know it. That's a predetermined real. shit. See, yeah, and especially if you got like, let's say, like fake titties or something like that. Wouldn't you yeah. want somebody that can't see them to feel and think that they like? I wouldn't even say no. I'd be like, I feel that, and then I wait for your, you know, you'd be like, it's a bag in there, or like I can hear the, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. So you got? Did you just drink a lot of water? I heard a slush in your stomach. You ever had a water bubble? Yeah, yeah. that's what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. 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 All the time, dude. <laughs> Hey, look, now that I'm on here with y'all, I forget who called me up. Wasn't it? It was it was Gasly, right? When I came up on stage, right? Yeah, with the camera. Man. Yeah, 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 where yeah, I felt. Yeah, okay, so yeah. now that I'm on your show, I'm going to ask y'all listeners. Because yeah, I feel yeah. like this is a better audience to just kind of go into yeah, this point yeah, right here. I was running with my camera. So you got to let me know. Hopefully, y'all can send me a message. At Comedian L. Hendricks. Just inbox me. Let me know. But I was running with my camera. And they was like, oh, hurry up. You know, Gassy was like, all right, thank you. Have a good day. I was like, oh, shit, I got to hurry up and get over to the stage. So when I was running, I took three big steps. Yeah, and then my camera flopped twice. And I was like, oh, shit, oh. And I grabbed it. In my mind, I was like, this must be what it feel like not to wear a bra. You know what I'm saying? Like, so women, let me know, like, if this, if I had two cameras on, would it be the same? Like, I think it would have. I think it would have. Oh, you think it would have? Like, is it? Cause I could imagine, but I don't know. I got you. Got to let me know. You like might, I said, we I don't. Might have to I don't trial know. run this dude with some fake cameras and see what. No, happens, we dog. just get some titties and see how it works. Oh, I don't know. Titties, <laughs> it's, it's, we're, we're past the point. We right, right, right. Titties on Gashley. Yeah, it's it's pretty too past. Can you yeah. get two cameras and we are gonna have you run and tell me? Cause I think I'm gonna hit myself. I think. I think maybe we could. I step too hard. My legs too long. Yeah. Who got short legs? Me, dude. I'm only fucking five. So we gonna have you run? I'm not even gonna get into it. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm you gonna, gonna run? <laughs> where I'm gonna run? Give me an open field, bro. Yeah. Give me an open field. Yeah, hit one like one Burger King draw. <laughs> yeah, there you go, dude. Give me that beat. I'm gonna be like, yeah, look, just wow. run straight and in ten seconds scream. Let me get a number four with cheese. Hell yeah. All right, you got field. Go for what you know. Yep. Go for what you know. Hey man, that's why I walk around like Frankenstein all the time. I'm like, man. straight up, hey. bro. That's how it goes. Yeah, be getting the Frankenstein without smoking, dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Let's wrap this motherfucker yeah, up. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all having me on, bro. Hell yeah! Thanks, thanks for coming, coming out, out man. Oh Definitely, shit, man. man! You're that running my show with me, brother. 
Hey, tell people where they can find you, homie. At Comedian L. Hendrix. Like I said, Comedian L. Hendrix, Landon Hendrix. Can you spell that for the people? Yep, 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 yep. Comedian. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, L H E N D R I X. So a lot of people, you weird if you do the Ricks. I don't like that. That's a weird ending. Like, we do it just like Jimmy. Like I said, I'm Jimmy third cousin. So, you know, we we do it just like Jimmy. You know, so H E N D R I X. Look me up at Comedian L Hendrix. Um, I do bar mitzvahs, everything. So whatever That's you good. need. What about yeah. bat mitzvahs? So bat, uh, bar shit. and bat mitzvahs? Uh, once I look it up, then I'll, yeah. As long as nobody's going to be putting anything anywhere where no, I don't no, know no, about no, it. No. Unless they oh. ask first. A bat I don't mitzvah know. is the, the female version of a bar mitzvah. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I'll definitely do those. Do they yeah. do the chair thing as well? Oh yeah, I oh no, I think that's a wedding. I think okay. weddings do the chair thing. Okay, I'm off. I don't know, I'm not Jewish, bro. <laughs> I'm off on I don't know. I got no job from fucking Cleveland. I'm Irish See? Catholic, Doug. Well y'all let me know. Like All I right. said, let you me know. You get back to me on that. I can't even research. You gotta let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get at me with that, hell. Come on, Hendrix, let's get it running. For sure, man. Hell yeah, bro. Hey uh Waldo, man. Yo. Thanks for coming out. Happy to be here, dude. Fuck yeah, tell people they can find you. You guys can find me on Instagram at Party with Waldo. You can also check out some sweet fitness content at Fitness with Swaldo or Jake and I's car stuff out at Metal to the Pedal. Speaking of Jake Pastor. Yo, what up? Mr. JP. Just JP made it. You know it. I say that every time you go poop. Oh, God. I did. Oh, oh, fuck you. He's like, JP's pooping earlier. Yeah, I'm like, I did. what the fuck, dude? I was like, JP pooping. Nah, nah, like, nah. I'm going to think of that every time I shit from now on. That's good, man. I'm happy to get in your head, dude. Tell the people they can find you, bro. Anywhere. Jake Pastor Audio or J-A-Y-P-C-L-E or Signal Flow Studios. Boom. It's up in Cleveland, but send me your shit. I, I'm best at mastering, period. Around, ever. Yeah. yeah you I'll need your that. shit mastered. Yeah, I got Master you. Master Gashley's ghost new single, Toxic Nostalgia, and mixed it. That's it. I did everything for that and reduced and well, recorded. It was insane work, bro. Incredible. Thank you. Check out Gashley's ghost single, Toxic Nostalgia. Check it out streaming everywhere. Platforms. All right. And then the co host, Don Cooch. Yo, yo. Hey, my dude, thanks for running the sound, mate. Oh, uh, yeah. You already know, man. Tell yeah, them where they can find you. Sure, you can find me at Don underscore Cooch. That's Don underscore K O O C H on Instagram. Oh, yeah, Cooch, man. I'm happy your throat's better, man. You sounded like you were having some fucking issues Ooh. earlier, dog. I needed some air earlier, man. And some uh, water and something, bro. Hit him with that O2 mask. Too lit, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, thank all you guys for stopping by Wake and Bake. And again, you guys know you can find us on Instagram. That's at the Wake and Bake OH. That's the Wake Letter and Bake OH on Instagram. You guys can also watch our show on Facebook and YouTube. That's at the Wake and Bake with Blind James. That's the Wake Letter and Bake with Blind James. We're also on your favorite streaming platforms. If you tell your phone or smart speaker to play that, it totally will. And then if you like it, pop over to patreon.com slash blind James. Hook it up with that donation. Help us keep our show afloat. Keep bringing you dope ass interviews like the one I'm bringing you this evening. And again, thank you for stopping by Waking and Bacon. Remember, even if you lose your sight, never lose your vision. Shout to Fog Baby. Shout out to Fog. Thank you for Waking and Baking. <laughs> <laughs>